In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a complete and comprehensive guide on how to get started running payroll through Gusto. Now, if you're not familiar with Gusto, it's a super simple all-in-one platform meant for running payroll, benefits, and HR. And in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through step-by-step -step on how to get started setting up your business information, entering your tax details, and running your payroll for the very first time. So I highly encourage you to go down in the description below and follow along in real time so that you can ensure you are following at the same pace we are. Without further ado, let's get started right into it, running payroll through Gusto. To get started, all you have to do is go to Gusto's website, sign up for an account, and you should be taken to a screen that looks very similar to this. It'll say, create your company profile, and we can see what the information that's gonna be required for us is. In our case, who is your company planning to pay? I'll say myself. And how's your company currently running payroll? I'm gonna say, we're new to running payroll. I'm gonna hit continue here. Now on your end, if you're not taken to a screen like this immediately, there may be a few more questions Gusto is gonna ask you based on your specific circumstances, but you do have the option to skip all through those and we are gonna be doing them here. But if you have that information readily available on hand, I highly encourage you to fill it out because it'll make the process for you a whole lot easier. I wanna give a complete and comprehensive guide, so I'm not answering any of the questions up front so that I can show you in real time what that'll looks like. So once we're on the screen here, we're all ready to get set using Gusto. So let's hit, let's go. It all starts with entering our addresses and contact details, including our company phone number and mailing address. We also have the ability to enter our federal tax information. We need the IRS details to pay and file the taxes. If the company isn't registered as an employer with the IRS, you can register online. If you click on this here and open it in a new tab, it'll actually take you to the IRS agent, um, which is currently unavailable on Gusto's end. So you might have to go onto the IRS's website to actually make sure you're getting through to the proper setup. But obviously at this point, if you're getting started running payroll on Gusto, you probably have a company account already set up. So we're gonna bypass this for the meantime. At this point, you would enter your federal EIN. This is your unique employee your identification number and this is basically what tells the IRS you know what company you specifically are so that they can you know make sure the taxes are all correct there and then we also have our business entity type examples are C corporation S corporation sole proprietor LLC etc so click on the one that is most suitable for you and you'll be good to go the next step here after filling out your tax information is making sure that the bank account that the money is going to be withdrawn from to actually pay your employees is set up properly so if we go to the bank account tab here we can see that they say, we'll use your checking account info to debit for wages, taxes, and your monthly Gusto fee. Don't worry, you won't be charged until after you run your first Gusto payroll. So they don't actually charge you any fees until after you run payroll for the first time. So making sure that the bank account you've got set up here is set up is key and essential, obviously, because what are you gonna pay your employees with otherwise? So at this point, all you need to do is hit this button that says verify account with Plaid. And once we click that, it'll say Gusto uses Plaid to connect your account connect effortlessly, your data belongs to you, protect your accounts. After that, once we hit continue here, it's actually gonna take us to a screen with a whole bunch of financial institutions. You're gonna select the one that you wanna be paying your employees from and automatically getting all the details set up. It'll actually walk you through step-by-step step in a very easy way on how to get the information from your bank account. And once you're there, you should have your bank account automatically connected to Gusto so that it's ready to pay your employees from that account. Now, if you're not quite comfortable with using Plaid, there is a manual option available down here that says we can also manually verify your account through test transactions. This is the sort of thing where they may deposit, you know, maybe five, 10, 12 cents, some, some amount of money. And then they'll say, how much do we deposit? And then if you can correctly name the amount, then obviously you are the owner of that bank account and can see the transaction. So that should be all simple, but using Plaid is probably the easiest way because it gets you verified almost immediately. Great. At this point, you should have your company info filled out, your federal tax information input, and a bank account linked. So what's next? Well, all we have to do now is actually go to the Gusto plan. At this point, we can see what the actual Gusto plan is going to be. We can choose the features that we need, those being next day direct deposit, team management tools, HR experts and resources, et cetera, et cetera. We can actually customize the Gusto plan based on the tools we need. In our case, we specifically just need the payroll aspect of things. So I'm gonna select next day direct deposit. I continue here and for customer support, we're gonna say chat, you know, just keep it pretty simple. I'll hit continue choose the number of states we're paying in. Assuming that you're only paying employees in one singular state, you can just hit one state here. The next step here is actually choosing the Gusto plan that's right for you. Now, depending on what questions you answered and the way you answered them, it'll actually customize what the plan actually looks like for you based on the features that Gusto assumes you need. So in this case, Gusto is recommending me the Plus plan, which has next day direct deposit, built-in time tracking, and payroll in multiple states. As we can see here, the Plus plan has a limited time offer of $60 per month per base person, off from $80, or $9 a month per person from $12. We can see the details it includes here, such as unlimited payrolls, payrolls in multiple states, and it's got a whole bunch of things that are really, really useful to us beyond just payroll. We can scroll down here and see the available add-ons as well, including priority support and HR resources. And if we want to choose this plan, all we're going to hit is choose plan. Or if we actually want to go ahead and view the other plans available, we can also see those ones such as simple, which is $40 a month or $6 per person. That includes payroll in one state, 
we have payroll multiple states and then obviously as you get to the premium tab that's a point where you're going to actually have a custom plan set up through gusto but assuming you're a beginner for this video you're not going to have to worry about that the next stage here after you choose your plan is actually setting up whether it's four day direct deposit two day direct deposit or next day direct deposit obviously depending on which one you actually get it's going to be different for you so we're going to actually hit the two day direct deposit here which they say is the most popular and we'll hit save and continue now that we've got our plan automatically picked out, we can see that, woohoo, we're gonna love the plus plan. Sweet. At this point, we can hit save and continue. Now, obviously, because I haven't filled out all the details here, there's a few more things I have to fill in, but we're gonna skip right to the part where this is all filled out and you can get all the information you need to get started running your very first payroll on Gusto. So assuming now that you've got all your information filled out, as we just did, the addresses, federal EIN, and bank info, the next thing you need to do is add your team. Add your team members. It'll take about 15 minutes. So if we hit the get started button here, we can see that we can actually create our own profile with our name, the start date, we worked at the company, the work address, what our compensation is. This is, you know, assuming that we're only paying us or for, you know, our purposes, the employee that we're actually setting up under. And we can put the title here. So we could say like CMO, CFO, CTO, whatever it may be. We can select the employee type here, whether there's salary with no overtime or salary and eligible for overtime, whatever is dependent on your particular circumstances. We have the amount that we're actually getting paid per pay period, and we can just straight up do this. So I'll just say uh, CTO, for example, create CTO as a new job. We'll say salary, no overtime. The amount is, you know, let's say 140,000. I just pulled that number out of nowhere. Um, and then we say per year. So at this point, we can actually scroll down here and we can see there's a couple more things available for us, such as, you know, is this employee an owner slash corporate office in the company? And if we put that in, we can see that there are certain restrictions based on what particular state you happen to find yourself in. So for us, this is just gonna be a Washington uh, exemption in this case, depending on your state, it might look a little bit different. But if we're all ready to go here, and if I hit save and continue, uh, let's make sure risk class code. Uh, oh, this is the, the risk class code. So obviously we can just, uh, I'll just pick a random one here. And so we'll hit save and continue and it'll bring us on to the next stage. Now, because this is a beginner's tutorial, we're not gonna go through the whole process of doing every single step of these, but you get the idea here. You set up the basics, your employee info, your tax deductions, and how that employee is actually gonna get paid. And obviously, as we did on the previous screen, how much they're gonna get paid. And you should be good to go with an employee setup. Now that we've got the team member section filled out here, all we would have to do is set up payroll. And by then, Gusto would review our account. And once that's done, we can run our first payroll. Now, when it comes to setting up the payroll portion of things, we would set up our pay schedule. We create a single pay schedule for our one salaried employee, and we recommend setting up one pay schedule. So let's do it. We'll say they get paid twice per month. Great, that looks good. Save and continue here. And then we can actually add our work addresses and now this is gonna be for adding things like state tax info. We can go down here to the next step, which is actually your R&D tax credit, where you can actually get money back from the IRS depending on how much research and development you're doing at your company. Again, this is only for a specific use case, so we're gonna skip over this. We're gonna to go to the next step, which actually says verify your bank account, which again, verifying your bank account instantly with Plaid. If you've already done this, great. The next step here would actually be signing documents. Now, at this point, I should mention that you have your federal tax info filled out, your business information filled out, and your bank account set up. Otherwise, you will not be able to proceed with the next steps. But if you do have all those things figured out and done, you should see a couple documents here specifically from Gusto. Basically stuff saying that, you know, they are allowed to debit your account as they're running payroll based on the things that are set up by you on the account. All the legal stuff, making sure that that's all set up properly. And then finally, actually going to the workers' comp side of things, does your company have a workers' compensation policy? Again, you can see on the right-hand side, do you need workers' comp insurance? It all depends on your specific business that you're running payroll for. Obviously, if you're running a digital business, that's gonna look a lot more different from, say, a construction business. So in our case, we're gonna say, no, we don't have a policy. And we can actually set up a new workers' comp policy or do this later. At that point, you would be ready to go with running your first payroll. All right, we're almost there. Now, recounting everything we've done so far, at this point, you would have filled out your basic business information here, chosen a plan on Gusto, connected a bank account, filled out your tax information, and set up at least one employee. So you're ready to go to run payroll. Now at this point, I'm just gonna be showing you a quick demo of what actually running payroll would look like. Obviously, because this is a tutorial video, we haven't gone ahead and fill out our actual business information here. Assuming you've got everything figured out correctly, you should come to a screen that looks very similar to this. It should say double check hours and pay. Make sure that all your employee information and payment information is right here. You can actually see the time off section and review. Making sure that the bank account that is gonna be debited from to pay your employees is all set up correctly. And at this point, if Gusto has any problems in how it's actually setting up payroll, you should have the ability to go and make those changes and corrections. But if you follow along with this video in real time and not just, you know, I've gone through and skipped everything like we did in this tutorial for the sake of the tutorial, but actually filled out all the details, you should have everything you need to go and run payroll for the very first time. 
Next, Gusto just has to review your account, make sure that you're you know, legit, and that usually takes about two business days, and after that, you're good to go. So I hope this tutorial was helpful, giving you a beginner's guide on how to run payroll on Gusto. It's honestly a very simple and intuitive platform, and unlike other platforms that are used, it is very simple and easy to set up. So go ahead, if you haven't already, go to the description down below and actually get started running your payroll on Gusto. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.